It was 23 years ago when Liz Heaston, who was also playing on the women's soccer team with Atlanta University, came out for the men's football team as a backup place kicker. Not only did she get in, but she also scored twice. That feat in 1997 was a big deal that landed Liz in the national spotlight. Starting kicker Gordon Thompson, right, who'd been out for a year with an injury. In fact, I don't even remember kicking the ball. <laughs> I remember the snap and the hold and when it went through the uprights, but I don't remember in between. For Liz, not only was she the first woman to play in a college football game, but also the first and only one to score. How many games did you play in? I played in two. So the first game I made both of them, the second game I missed both of them. Liz wasn't just trying to juggle football, she was also playing soccer at the same time. I mean, literally, I went from, a, I finished a soccer game, I played that game, got in the van, changed clothes in the van, went out onto the field, and it was the second quarter. And I kicked in the second quarter. Both her and Sarah Fuller, who kicked for Vanderbilt University over the weekend, were asked out of necessity. COVID-19 forced some of the kickers into quarantine for Vanderbilt, but for Liz... They had kickers who were out um, and injured, and so they were looking for others. Injuries gave her a unique opportunity. I mean, I, at first I thought he was joking. I mean, I thought the coach was joking. I'm like, sure, no problem. I'll come out on the phone. And then it was like, you know, two weeks later, it's a reality. A reality that helped pave the way for other female athletes over the years. That was pretty, un I mean, it was very surreal. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.